Station. We're staying on top of breaking news here at 6 a.m. A semi crashes into the UPS store headquarters in Sorrento Valley. And right now, as you see right here, crews have quite the mess to clean up. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live at the scene now with the very latest. Dana Marie, what's happening now? Uh, good morning, Eric and Netta. A mess to clean up is an understatement. Take a look at the destruction right behind me. There are multiple crews on scene, including Hazmat, trying to extract some of the fuel out of the truck before they tow it out. And I do want to tell you that a tow truck is on scene. Now, let's talk about how police think this happened. Now, the truck was parked on Pacific Heights Boulevard. When it rolled down this hill, we're giving you a look at, it took down a fire hydrant and then rolled into the building so no one was inside I do want to make that clear that no one was hurt in this but you're looking at destruction from earlier this morning now here's a breakdown of what happened the truck is about lodged 10 feet inside structural engineer deemed that the building is actually safe for fire crews to get inside right now and start the process of getting the truck out like I said hazmat is pulling it out about 40 gallons of gas so to make sure there are no fire hazards. Now, since the UPS headquarters building and truck was empty at the time, it rolled into the building. Thankfully, no one was hurt in this. A tow truck is on scene, and the fire chief I spoke to said that's the next step in clearing all of this up. Now, in terms of location, we're on Pacific Heights Boulevard near Cornerstone Court West between Mira Mesa Boulevard and Carroll Canyon Road. So if this is part of your morning commute, know that there will be traffic around this area for the next Next couple of hours as cleanup crews continue to get this massive truck out of this building. Now, of course, we're going to be your eyes and ears here in Sorrento Valley, bringing you the latest in terms of what the traffic looks like and also crews on scene. But again, no one was in the truck, thankfully. No one was in the building and no one was hurt. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live for CBSA. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, just a lot to have to rebuild there. Thank you, Dana Marie. And now this morning, take a close look at your screen here. The search is on for a missing teenager from Spring Valley. The search intensifying now. It has now been 12 days since 15-year-old Alina Mitchum's parents last saw her. She's a student from Monta Vista. She often goes by Grace or Gracie. Here's some video from her parents. A note was found in her room the morning of September 23rd saying that she was running off with a woman who helps teenage runaways. The note also said not to go looking for her. Mitchum's parents believe somebody online was grooming her and lured her away. I, I need her face in every every news media station, every police station, every truck stop, every anything. If she's be, if she's out there, Grace, Gracie, if you're out Please. there and you can see this, we love you. Please, baby, we come won't, home. We won't stop. Now they're going through a lot of stress and pain right now as they try to find her. So Mitchum's parents say she played a lot of games like Apex and Fortnite where you can talk to strangers on those games. She's described as 5'4", 160 pounds, with faded green hair and hazel eyes. Keep your eyes open here for her. Call the Sheriff's Department if you have any information. Well, this morning, gas prices hit another all-time high in San Diego. This time, we are now at an average of $6.42 a gallon for regular. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Mira Mesa with the growing fight for some relief to come our way. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning, Eric. And Anna. look, a lot of people wondering what exactly can bring the prices down or maybe get some extra money in our bank accounts because when you look at the gas prices and the trends right now, the only good news that we have is that it wasn't a double digit increase like we've been seeing for several days. So let's take a look at those numbers yet again here. Again, we are looking at more than $6.30 as the average, excuse me, $6.40 as the average gallon of gas. The average price has gone up 18 straight days. Meanwhile, the national average for a gallon of gas is at $3.80. So, uh, you know, what you're looking at is that we're approaching again more than $3 than the national average. Now, Governor Newsom and others in Sacramento are proposing a solution, though it's not clear how quickly relief will get to us. The idea is a windfall tax, so the tax would happen against those oil companies. It would tax their profits, and it would be uh, done so that that money, that revenue generated by the state, would be given back to the people. But session doesn't start back up until January, which is in three months, and Newsom could call a special session to make it happen now, but it's really unclear if that's on the docket at this point. 
oil companies, they provide no explanation. The fact is, they're ripping you off. I'm calling for a windfall tax. I think um, seeing the oil cartel again do this to the California consumer and the fact of his own perhaps political ambitions is changing his mind on these things, that's okay, so long as he understands the merits of good policy. And if this windfall tax and giving that money, that revenue back to the people sounds like that middle class stimulus payment we were supposed to be getting this month, well, it is likely that you are probably thinking of that because starting on Friday, those checks will be going out direct deposit to, again, those who filed their taxes with the state of California in the year 2021 and so forth. So start to expect those checks Friday. However, it, for some, it could take until January. Now, we do have a really handy tool. Just go to our website, cbs8.com, to check your eligibility and also get an idea of how much money, how much relief you may be getting from the state. Eric and Netta. All right, Chris Girl, thanks for that. This morning, an emergency has been declared over unstable bluffs that have suspended some train service. Amtrak service between Oceanside and Irvine was stopped because the ground under a section of the tracks shifted. The Orange County Transportation Authority just gave emergency approval for a $12 million repair project. It's unclear how long that will take. This morning, the city and county are moving forward with a plan to address the housing crisis here. Officials voted unanimously on a resolution to build 10,000 affordable housing units on government-owned properties by the year 2030. But they face challenges, including finding places to build. The decision was made during the first joint city and county summit in 20 years. And now this morning, the death toll in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian has gone up to at least 99 people who died in Florida. Four other people died in North Carolina and crews are going door to door at this moment. They have rescued more than 2000 people. So they're searching for people through all of this rubble that you see. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden visited Puerto Rico yesterday, where he announced $60 million to help the island recover from Hurricane Fiona. He will then head to Florida tomorrow. At 6.08 here, we want to check in on our forecast. And uh, what can we expect today, Evan? Well, it looks like those temperatures are going to be warming up as we head into the next several days. Uh, we have a ridge of high pressure overhead that is contributing to this warming pattern. And it looks like it's also going to block us out from the chance of any uh, really wet weather in the forecast. We picked up on a little bit of monsoonal moisture out there yesterday. It was minimal for the most part. Lake Cuyamaca saw one one hundredth of an inch and will likely come in in about that range. Uh, that is typical for us. As San Bernardino County Mountains, Riverside County Mountains uh, did pick up on much more notable moisture out there. This afternoon, temperatures are going to be mostly in the 70s along the coastline. We will be making it into the 80s for your inland valleys. Upper 70s out there for the mountains and 102 for the deserts. Let's take a look at your temperatures walking out the door. 57 right now in Ramona, a little bit cooler out there. 61 in Escondido and 64 in Poway. Marine layer is not stretching quite as far, and because of that, we're allowing for a little bit more of the overnight cooling to be taking place, and that's what we're seeing now. Out there. It's seven degrees cooler right now in Ramona. Thanks to the lack of clouds, all of that cooling is uh, happening. Poway five degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. Alpine four degrees cooler because right along the coast we mostly have those clouds. We're only one, maybe two degrees cooler compared to yesterday. And you can see how that marine layer is interacting with us to start off the day. Infrared is not the best at telling us where those clouds are exactly, but most of our indications do show that they are not nearly as dense or far reaching as they were yesterday, and that continues on a trend that will last all the way through this week. That means that through Saturday, we're going to see fewer clouds along the coast, so a less dense marine layer, and we'll see a gradual warming trend. Now, the gradual warming trend is very mellow. We'll go from about 81 this afternoon to probably 86 degrees or so by Friday and Saturday. That shows only five degrees of a climb, but that's what a gradual warm up is going to look like for us and then we'll have a more gradual cool down on the trailing end of it along with more monsoonal moisture Sunday through next week. Cooler temperatures as a low pressure system swings in. We'll also see more monsoonal moisture from Sunday and beyond. Let's take a look at what traffic looks like to start off the day. So far we have seen a very quiet start to the morning. We'll take it to just one crash that we've seen on our maps here and this isn't even a crash. This is a stalled vehicle. Stalled vehicle block in the number three lane on the 15 northbound. This is as you get onto the 78 in the Escondido area. Back to you.